reacting to the newly restored version of the Beatles documentary Let It Be, Ringo Starr gave his thumbs up. When Let It Be premiered in 1970, it was met with negative reviews as it painted a bleak portrait of the rock band. However, the restored version of the documentary dropped on Disney Plus this week. I was always moaning about the original film because there was no real joy in it, Starr told the Daily Beast about Let It Be, which was released just weeks after news of the Beatles' split had hit the press. Overall, the film was impressive, Starr said. Now it's got a start, a middle, and a finish. The start is very slow, and then we get into creating, and then we're at it, and then we're out. I love it, but I'm in it, of course, so six hours is never long enough, he said. Let It Be was unavailable for public viewing for several decades, but the restored version is now available to watch for the first time in over 50 years. Let It Be was directed by Michael Lindsay Hogg and was restored by Peter Jackson, who recently combed through 60 hours of footage to create the now classic docuseries Get Back. Let It Be contains footage not featured in the Get Back docuseries. Bringing viewers into the studio and onto Applecore's London rooftop in January 1969 as The Beatles, joined by Billy Preston, write and record their Grammy award-winning album Let It Be, with its Academy Award-winning title song, and perform live for the final time as a group. All these years did I wish it to come out? Of course, did I hope it would? Well, you know, hope is a like a candle. Sometimes it flickers, and sometimes it's bright, and sometimes it goes out. Lindsay Hogg admits. The catalyst, really, was Peter Jackson. Right from the beginning, he was very direct and very respectful, he added. 